hot potato salad. You remember this recipe? Oh yeah. We had asked our viewers to submit their favorite family recipes and this was one Gail Smith of Millsboro shared with us. It was her mother's recipe, a German potato salad, no mayo. Love it. And those are the best recipes, the ones handed down from generation to generation. Yeah. And Lisa, you have one to share with us, right? Yeah. In today's Monday Memories, it's a classic pineapple upside down cake, mm. but it's one that's so simple to make, you might even try it for yourself tonight. We're going to do a version that is, a, I guess, a cake from scratch. It's called Busy Day Cake, but it's so okay. easy. If you want to use a cake mix, you can. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to have you get the pan ready. I got the pan ready. Okay. Put it back down. Oh. <laughs> what you're going to do is you're going to put your butter in there okay. and your brown sugar and you're going to mix that together to kind of make a kind, kind of, of a slurry little coat the whole thing yeah just just put it in there and you're going to mix it, it together it won't go in there <laughs> <laughs> mix it together and uh, stir it up okay so all it's right. um, yeah there you go and then spread it out throughout the pan and while you're doing that I'm going to put together the ingredients for the cake which is flour sugar baking powder We've got some butter, lots of butter, actually <laughs> softened. That's why we're all so happy. How's that going over there? It's going. It's going? Okay. Because I actually gave you the creative part of the job, because what you're going to do is you're going to make the top of the cake in the bottom of the pan. I'm making the top? You're making the top of the in cake the in the bottom of the pan. Oh, yeah, this is an upside down cake. <laughs> Does that it is an upside down cake. Oh, so, so once you get was, that all spread out there. This was one that your mom did. Oh yeah, she still does. She makes it for everyone at church. Every time somebody has a birthday or a special occasion, this <laughs> is her go-to cake. Okay, I think I've got this. You got that? I don't okay, know if I had so now what here. you're gonna do is you're gonna go ahead and take your pineapples and arrange them just like you would in the top of the cake. Oh, okay. So just arrange them in a circle. So what you're I telling think me it's is about just about five on the outside and one in the middle. Just think upside down? Just think upside down. I can do that. <laughs> I have those skills. You have those skills. And while you do that, I'm going to mix up our cake batter here. One thing that my mom also says that she likes to do, she doesn't use the electric mixer. She likes to use a hand whip. Oh, yeah? And that makes it, she says it makes it fluffier. Listen, if your mom says it. If my mom says it, it's I'm true. on board. I'm with you. That's very beautiful. You're doing a very good job. <laughs> I was afraid you were going to tell me to take it out and start over again. And I want to let you know there are several ways you can get the shopping list and instructions for this recipe. You can send a self-addressed stamped envelope to 1729 North Salisbury Boulevard, Salisbury, Maryland, 21801. You can also go to delmartalife.com and click on the show tab or call us 410, or no, 443. <laughs> <laughs> I almost gave them my phone number. 443-880-9116. <laughs> you, can, you can get it by calling that number, but <laughs> who knows who, who's going to. Maybe I should give out my mom's Didn't phone you number. tell me that you made two of these cakes last night? I just did. To... I did. Because sometimes, I have to admit, sometimes when I've made the cake and you actually, after you bake it, you turn it upside down right. onto a plate. And I, I, there's been a couple times where I took it out too quickly and didn't let it cool enough. And then when I turned it upside down, it was kind of messy. So, so I made two to make sure that I had a nice one. For what you're saying was there was a little fear factor involved here. There was a little fear factor. and <laughs> um, But I'll tell you what, that one of those cakes is already gone. Gone. <laughs> All right. right. So now what we're going to do, it, this batter is really kind of thick. So you have to be careful with this part right here. We're going to actually spoon it on to the pineapples. Okay. Now you want the cherries to stay in place, so right. that's why you're spooning it on. Instead of uh, just smearing it in. Exactly. So we're going to put that in there like that. You made everything from scratch. That really didn't take long. No, it's, that's why it's called busy day cake. You can make this after work and put it in the oven while the family's eating dinner. When you're busy. And, and you're, when you're busy, that's like right. That. When you have a busy day. Okay, we put that in the oven, 350 for about 30 minutes. When you take it out, you let it cool for a little bit. Okay. And then what I like to do is take a knife around the edge to kind of loosen the sides. Right, right. Take a plate, put it on top of your pan, turn it over, and it should come out looking like this. She pops like out just like this. that. How about that? That's okay. nice. I want to taste that. Okay, we're going to taste that. But first, we all have favorite family recipes, and we wanted to hear what yours are. So we asked you to share them on the Delmarva Life Facebook page. And Loretta J. Wheatcraft. Ray, my mom's homemade sloppy joes, passed down from my grandma. It was a cheap comfort food for us five kids. Making them for my boys and their friends makes my day when I hear them say, they're banging, <laughs> LOL. Ellen said, 
Hot dog soup, made like potato soup, but with hot dog medallions <coughs> added. My mom made it when money was tight. She always made a big deal out of it, and I asked her to make it every time she visited. Christina Hurley said my grandfather's chili recipe made it in a huge crock pot. He used to do it for family gatherings, and nobody else in the family can make it except for me because I know his secret <laughs> ingredient. And of course, if you'd like to weigh in on the conversation, go to our Facebook page. And guess what, Jimmy? It's time it, for you to taste it, it. It's time for you to taste it. Is this yeah. all mine? You're not Gonna get any? Really? Yeah. Oh, come on. Go ahead. Taste it. Awesome. Tell me what you think. Okay. <laughs> Do the thing. You already told them how to get the recipe, right? Yep. Mm -hmm. Like it? Mm. <laughs> probably have to eat okay. more. Okay, sure. he likes it. <laughs> You made me wait long enough before I could taste it. It was good, though. Yeah, yeah. It looks good. It was. Yes, it was. Those are recipes that are passed down are the best. They totally are. My only problem is my mom is an incredible baker, cook, all mm -hmm. the things. And when I try, I could never make it taste the exact same way. Yeah. Yeah. I can't either, because my mom doesn't measure anything, so I, she's like, just add water. And I'm like, yeah. well, how much? She's like, just add some. So like, you're <laughs> you just you. I'm like, I don't know. <laughs> You'll know when it's right. You know. so, I haven't quite known until it's right yet, but I'll figure it out. Just as much as you need, that's all. Yeah, and of course, we would love to see your family recipes. Share them with us. Just go to our Facebook, all of the social media, Instagram, whatever. We want to hear from you.